In this class, we're going to be talking about medication, okay, and how you can deal with medication. Um, I'm here in class with a number of different people. Guys, can you just confirm that you can see my um, document for today? Yes. Yeah, yes. Someone is a good singer there. Who's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Microphone's off, please. Microphone's off. Okay, so you can all see my Word document and we will get started, all right? I just want to go through, though, with all of you, what it is we're doing today, all right? So the first thing, let me just ask someone. Mahmoud, are you there? I am here. Okay, sir, so just tell me, what are the first thing we're going to do in this class? Review the four, the four possibilities. Yeah, the four possibilities. When it, okay, thank you. So that's when it comes to medication. Right. We're talking about OET writing here, of course. Okay. So we're going to review the four possibilities. Now, I spoke about this in the last class about two weeks ago. Does anyone remember me talking about this? Yes. Who's that? Yes. Uh, Say your name. I'm Sandy. Okay. Sandy remembers. Fantastic. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. Everyone else, <laughs> microphones off, please. Yeah. Microphone's off. It's a bit noisy. So, Dinashri, you just mute yourself. We can hear you. Okay, so we're going to review the four possibilities. If you don't know what that means, I will explain. Okay, then we're going to practice the possibilities or possibility two, three, and four. Okay, this is all about medicine, um, giving details about medicine in writing. Okay, in OET writing. That's what, we're, that's what we're focusing on. I'm going to start with a little warm up. Okay, I'm going to show you some acronyms for medicine. Okay, and all you guys have to do is tell me what it means. It should be quite easy for most of you. Okay, so are you ready? Warm up? Yes. Thank yes. you. Good. I'm going to leave you, I'm going to give you about 30 seconds of thinking time, and then I will be asking specific people, what does this mean? Okay. Okay, um, let's pick on, uh, not pick on, but let's ask Desiree. Desiree, are you there? In, in the morning? The first one is in the morning. Yeah, it does yeah. mean in the morning, good. It's for medication, right? Yeah. In the so it might say, give me an example. Could you give me an example? Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith will um, take her medication in the morning. Good. But in the case notes, it'll say something like paracetamol, main. Yeah? Oh, okay. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. What about mm -hmm. PRN? Let me ask someone here. Uh, Benita, just give us PRN. Do you know what it means? If necessary. Uh, I've had to write this down. Uh, as needed. As needed or if necessary. Yeah. Good. If necessary. Thank you very much. Uh, Fariel, QID. Um, um, four times a day. I think it is. Now, four I had to check this myself, so I'm just, I wrote it down. Four it is times four, times, four times, four times, four times yeah. a day. Okay. Thank you very much. Microphone's off. Very, very good. And Sandy, if you could do TDS. Yes, three times a day. Three times T for three. Good. Thank you very much. Times a day. Let's have, um, Baiju. Are you there? Uh, BAD means two times a day. It means two times a day. Good stuff. And of course, the last one, everyone together, put your microphones on and just shout it down the mic. <laughs> shout it at me. 
Twice a night. By night. By night. Yeah, two times a night or twice a night. Right. Twice a night. Okay, so when do we when do we see acronyms like this? Let me ask that question to um, Eman. Are you there? Yeah. So when do you see things like this in OET? Uh, in the case notes. We see them in the case notes, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about the medication, patient response. Yeah. It would be like in a medication thing like this, right? Yeah. Or something like this. Here we go. Right. So what does that one mean again? BID? Twice a day. Twice a day, uh, right? Twice a day. Good. So you're in the exam and you are trying to write medication. Okay. So the first thing I want to ask is the, about the four possibilities. Okay. Now someone said that they remember what I was talking about when, when, when I say the four possibilities. What are the four possibilities for, for OET writing? Was it Sandy? Yes. So there, um, are, four, there um, are four. Yeah, you're, when you when you're in the when you see medication, right? Yes. Medication, uh, and you're thinking, what's the first question when you see medication? Uh, I I think about whether to include all the details yeah. is one possibility. Should I include? Should I include the, all the details? Okay. Now one possibility. Right here are the possibilities. One possibility. I call this the first one, is you don't have to include anything, right? Yes. One possibility that it is not needed. At all. Okay, so that means, why, why would it not be needed? Why? Not relevant. Not relevant to who? To the writer. The writer? Oh, sorry, <laughs> to, uh, to the um, reader, yeah, shall I say? The to, to the reader, all. yes. Yeah. <laughs> So it's not relevant to the reader at all. I don't know why someone's trying to call me. It's not relevant to the reader at all. Um, and can anyone think of an example when the medication would not be relevant? Fayal? Uh, for example, if a patient is taking um, um, antacids for his abdominal condition and we are referring patient to the psychiatrist, I think. I always think of psych very often the psychiatrist, yeah, psychiatrist will be the one who doesn't need, say, a, some medication detail. Good. Uh, just microphones off there. You can just hear a little cute baby. Okay, thank you. That's possibility one. Possibility two, though, right? Maybe you do need it. So can anyone remember possibility two? We talked about it last. Um, one or two medication only. Ah, well, I would say that's possibility three, right? De you need to give one detail for one or two medications only, right? Possibility four would be you need to give details for all medications, right? What would possibility three be, though? Anyone tell me. Medications and not the medication without details. Oh, say that again, sir. Medication without details. Medication without details. So just list, yeah, no details, but include, right? Or I don't know the best way to say this. List only. What's a list? Please note uh, the medication list is added, like kind of like that. Uh, yeah. Only that, like, for example, he's on a hypertensive medication. Just, just named oh, without I any dose. Okay, lots of good ideas there, lots of good ideas. Some people say you can say um, the medication list is attached, right? I'm not so interested in that, okay? It's either relevant or it's not relevant, right? If it's, if it's not needed, then maybe you can say the list is attached, okay? But sometimes you need to list only. A list is like this. I, I bought right, a car, a fish, <laughs> a computer, a dog, and a cat. You I'm can listing. only name only. Name only. Yeah. I'm not saying how much the car cost, am I? I'm not giving mm -hmm. the details of how much the car is or how, what type of fish it was. Right? I'm just listing. And it's the same for OET medication, all right? So, Ellen, like if we say like antihypertensive or lipid lowering agents, those are also list? 
Well, yeah, you could even use the, well, that's a good point. Broad right? heading. Broad um, categories. Categorizing. Yeah. Like um, he, he is taking antihypertensives. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know when to, where, when to use something like this? By see, uh, seeing the drug's name, we can predict, yeah. Good. But what I mean is, how do you know that it's okay to say he is taking antihypertensives and not, and not list them? Like, uh, extra information? Like, please note that. Yeah, but how do we know that this is Patient okay? Patient complaints? Hmm? Because maybe uh, the, the, the condition of the patient depends the patient. on the reader. But Depending on the condition. The the no, no, no. Good. Lots of good answers. But it's the reader, isn't it? It's yeah. always the reader. I'm going to turn my, I'm going to turn my, my camera uh, off and to say, reader, 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 reader. Okay. You just think about them. And if it's a psychologist and you're just mentioning it, yeah. Or maybe not antihypertensives, but you get the idea, right? It's always the reader that determines what, what medication you should, you should tell them about. Okay. But in the case of listing, I might just say, um, let me just show you an example of this, right? Let me just share my screen. We're going to do this again later, but let's imagine, all right, I am looking at Peter Dunbar. Where is Peter Dunbar? Oops. He's here somewhere. He's right at the top. Okay. Here is his medication. Can everyone see his medication here? Can you guys all see that? Yes. yes. So one possibility is that we don't need to include this, but possibility two is that we're just going to list this. Is anyone, can anyone give me an example of how you can just list these? You're not going to give details. What could you say? We may be referring a patient to a nutritionist. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It could be a psychologist or a nutritionist. So who can make a sentence? Anyone? Uh, the patient, uh, the patient experience of hypoglycemia, hypoglycemia for which uh, he used metformin. Mm -hmm. um, you could say that, yeah, but you've just given me one, but that's good. I like that. Um, um, ah, a few. I, let me just let me just control this a bit more. Okay, so let me just ask someone like um, Benita. Yes, sir. Could you give, could you just list? these four things. Don't give me the details. Please note that his regular medications include. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Include. Metformin. Comma. Ramipril, uh, comma, ramipril, varfarin, comma. Comma, varfarin, and satellol. Satellol. Right. Good. That's what we're talking about here, guys. All right. So one possibility is you can just list the names, mm. but we're not going to give the dosages and we're not gonna give the, the, the times of day, that kind of thing, okay? I'm not saying that for Peter Dunbar, that is correct. I'm just saying that it's one possibility, okay? But possibility three is sometimes you need to give detail for one or two medications only, okay? What do I mean by detail? Let me ask that to um, Saad, Saide? Uh, yes, Saide. Saida, sorry. Um, okay. What do I mean by detail here? Uh, the dosage of medication. Right. So sometimes you're gonna, you, you, you will need to give dosage, but also, what about if I say every morning? Uh, yes. So dosage is like 500 mg. Right. right? And uh, the mm, schedule. A schedule, yes. And sometimes they might give you information about he's, he's taking it with his mouth. What do we say? What's that called? Sorry. If, he's, root. if it's taken with the mouth or Orally. injection. Root. Oh. Yeah, oral or intramuscular. Um, Orally. Orally. By mouth. But in general, in general, it would be how it is taken. You can't say the root, I don't think. Maybe if that's a medical thing. How it is taken. Okay, so you might have to do that for one or two medications. Again, why? Why would it only be one or two? Anyone? Nukba. Because we want to monitor this. Sorry. No, no, no. Who is that? Go on. 
Uh, because we want to monitor this medication, might uh, maybe there is medication very important? Yeah. Yes. Cardiology. And, and who's we? We is reader. Reader, 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 reader. Yeah. Uh, yes, reader, but uh, we refer a, a patient to cardiologist. Okay. And Good. But so he's the reader. Yes. Right? I'm yes. just saying, if you think carefully about what the reader needs, you shouldn't be confused about what medication to include, right? So there are many situations where you're gonna look at the, the guy and go, he only needs to know about this drug because he's a specialist and it's relevant. The other drugs are not relevant, okay? That's one possibility. The worst possibility is number four. That's the one where you th you're gonna think, I've, I'm unlucky in my exam, right? What is possibility four, Mahmoud? All details, all details right? are needed. So sometimes you will need, you will just need to provide all the details for the, the medication. And that includes schedule, dosage, how it's taken, okay? Um, and a big part of OET writing, one of the skills is, is, is deciding on what is the best one. What is the best one for you? Okay. So just quickly, I want us to look at this. I know this is nursing, but it applies to doctors just as well. All right. Can everyone see Peter Dunbar here? Can you see this, yes, guys? Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Now, who's say yes if you've ever written this letter? Who's ever written this before? I've written that one, Paul. Yes. Uh, Ellen, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to eject you from the class. <laughs> um, just um, but you're the second person to do that today. It's all right. Um, this is a transfer letter. Very popular. Many people have written this. I'm just going to tell you the situation quickly. All right. Peter Dunbar is transferring. Where's he going? To live with, uh, with, daughter, yeah. with his daughter. So he's moving city. Moving to Cinderella. To live. I'll just put to, to live with his daughter. Does anyone know what his main medical problem is? Diabetes. Type um, 2 diabetic. Type 2 diabetic patient. And he, is, is he compliant? No. No, he's not a non compliant diabetic, diabetic patient. His wife died and he's become non compliant. And that's why he's going to see, to live with his daughter. She's going to try and take care of him. Okay. So, a big, when you write this letter, you have to sort of summarize all this stuff and then request continued care, right? Ongoing monitoring. So who's our reader? GP. The community health nurse. Community yeah. health nurse. Okay, and is she living with him or is she just visiting him? So this community center is near to the place. Yeah, who's he living with? With the daughter. With the daughter. daughter. So we're thinking about the reader. Now let's think about medication because I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure with this, but I thought it would be good to debate it. What does the reader, the person who will be visiting him, need here? What do we think? Let me ask this question to Alexandra. I haven't asked, I haven't said your name yet. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. So you're writing to someone who will be visiting occasionally to help him. He's diabetic, non-compliant. Do we need to provide all of the, is it number mm. four, number three, number two, number one? No. For example, the treatment for hyper, uh, hypertension is not relevant. He's not non-compliant with his hypertension? Okay, interesting. Um, which ones are we, relevant? We can mention only the name of, med of the medication. I yeah. like it. So maybe, maybe for stuff that's not related to diabetes and non-compliance yeah. with diabetes, we'll just say, please note, and no details, right? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. So you're saying that it would be a combination of possibility two, whoops, and what? And uh, metformin. So 
three, right? We're going to give yeah. some detail. Yeah. I think I agree with that, but I'm not 100% sure. Does anyone have any thoughts about that? We're just going to list some of the medication, but we're going to give the details for just one of I them. Think, I think I'll give all the details because um, when I'm writing, I said um, he is not compliant with his medication. So maybe so this, is, this really, is why I'm in two minds about it. Maybe he just doesn't take yeah. any medication. Mm. This is, I think Peter Tumbar is quite tricky. It's a bit ambiguous, mm. isn't it? Anyone else got any opinions on this? Should it be one, two, three, or four? I think so, four. I think because two. the patient got a heart attack also. Okay. So but think she, about it this way. She, it, look, if he, if he was living in a care home, then I would think four. But he's not. He's living with his daughter. His daughter's going to give him the medication. Right? Yes. So I don't think it's necessarily to... You could. It wouldn't be wrong, but I think maybe it's some sort of combination of two and three. I think that's a good idea. Anyone else? Yes, the problem ideas? also, problem also, uh, Ellen, because if I put all of it, the four, all of it, and in details, and the the word uh, word count, it will gotta be high. Ah, well, that's okay. You don't need to worry about that because um, the word count is a guide mm. only. All right. Mm, they will, they okay. will not penalize you in OET for a bad word count. But if you spend half your the time right, writing the medication out, then you're mm. going to fail because you've got a lot to do in that letter. Okay. So, um, uh, I think, can we write that uh, he has a history of being non compliant with his medication, including metformin, Ramipro, Vartan, and Sotalol? Um, yeah, so that would be a bit more like number two, wouldn't it? Yeah, you, you know, I think that, you know, the nurse is going to go to the house. She's going to check to see how he is, right? And then she can talk to the daughter and ask about dosages, right? So I don't think, I think number four is too much. Yeah. I think you either do number two or you do a mix of two and three, all right? Now, I want to move on because I've talked a lot about the theory of it, but how do you actually do it? All right, so we're going to practice doing it now. Okay. Um, these are just the possibilities, but let's practice actually writing. So obviously we don't need to do possibility one, do we? Sabrina, why do I not need to practice possibility one? Because, Sabrina. because we don't need all information. Yeah, I can't practice writing nothing, can I? Mm. So I'm going to start with number two, Sabrina. Stay with me, okay? So possibility two is just to list with yeah. no details, right? So it's quite easy. What would you say? Let's say Mr. Green is currently taking... Naproxen. Do I need a capital or not? Uh, yes. Because it's, no. it's a brand name. Naproxen is brand name, isn't it? Okay, I think you're right. And uh, then what do I say? And? And uh, Sephoroxim. 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 Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Um, what if there was a third one? What if we also said paracetamol? Yeah. What would you Naproxen, write? Naproxen, Sephoroxim, and paracetamol. Comma, right? The third one is always with yeah. and, and you just put a comma here, right? Yeah. Mm. This, this, this listing thing is called the rule of three. Does anyone know that? The rule of three? The rule of three is that, is that the last one has to have and. Okay. That's the rule of three. All right, I think this is quite easy. Does anyone have any questions about this one or should we move on to possibility three? Oh, actually, no, I've got a test for you. Sometimes I talk too much. So <laughs> you, can, you can do this now yourself, all right? I want you to list these three medications. It's not even that hard. Um, in fact, I won't even give you time. Let me just ask a random person to do this. Desiree, are you there? Yeah. 
Make me a sentence where you just list. A list number three. Or uh, num number two. We'll, we'll stay with number two. List only. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was that? Mr. White is currently taking. Yeah. Quinoa pro. Quinoa pro. Yep. Uh, metformin. Metformin. And glycoside. Glycoside. Do I need to put any capitals, guys? No, okay. not here. No. no, no. Why do we use capitals with drug names? If you names. said like acupril, diabex, yeah. and apoglucose. And if it's generic. Generic, so, uh, no capitals. Lower space. Yeah. yeah. What, is a what is a brand name? Benita, what's a brand name? Give me an example of a brand name. Like here, diabex. Yeah. Okay, oh, like here, yeah. Diet. It's these are the brands, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So metformin. Diabetes. So Diabex is the name of the company that makes mm. metformin, right? And the generic drug is metformin. Metformin. What, yeah. what is metformin? I don't even know, but it's always there. It's a drug for diabetes. For diabetic. For diabetes. For diabetic. Okay. Cool. Hypoglycemic. Or so it's not that hard, the grammar of this. Just don't forget that and, that and and the last one. Don't don't be afraid to put in four here or five. That's okay. But the last one must have and. Okay. Now we come to details. Number three, possibility three. What's possibility three again? Uh, Fayal, just remind me. What is it? Include detail. Um, uh, yeah. In two details, uh, just only one and two, one and two, one or two, one or two medication. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that. Now, um, I taught you last time one way, but I want to teach you a second way as well, and you can choose which one you prefer the best. So let me ask, um, Labina, are you there? Labina. Okay, let me ask Merlin. Sorry, it's me, Zanubia. I forgot to change okay. name. Okay. Um, Zanubia, go on. So she is currently taking, right? Okay. I've decided for this that I'm going to use all of this. Okay. Okay. Uh, she now, is what, what would I, yeah, go on. Uh, she is currently taking Voltron. Okay, just one second. So that's the drug, isn't it? The drug goes first. Is, is that the, the brand name or is that the generic name, Voltron? Voltron. The brand, brand. brand name. Yeah. So I need brand a capital, name. yeah? I need a capital. Okay. Then I'm going to say the method. Does it tell us the me method here? This is no. how they are taking it. It's like orally. Okay. Voltron. We don't need it. Nothing. Okay. So then I'm going to say what? 50. 50 milligram. 50. And we can write the full word, can't we? How do we spell it? M I L L M L L I G R A A M. It's not that hard, is it? Okay. And then I'm going to put the schedule. Is there? Is there? Is there any schedule? No. No. Right. No. Let's try with Panadin Forte. Okay. Let me ask now. Um, I'm going to ask Neil. Are you there? Okay, no, Mahmoud? Yes. Okay, so let's do it with Panadin Forte. Could you okay. say the sentence? Okay. Uh, she is currently taking Panadin Forte. Do I need to put capitals? Uh, no. Yes. 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 It's a brand, yeah, sometimes you won't know, but just, mm. yeah, because no. oh, oh, that, that's brand the name. generic, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, is it, do we know the method? Is it by mouth or injection? Uh, no. We don't know. Okay, so we don't mm. need to write anything here. Mm. Comma. Uh, 500 milligram. What does that mean? 30? Oh, I don't is that know. 32? 30 to 500. This is the combination yeah. drug. So yeah. here, uh, 30 milligram codeine and uh, 500 milligram paracetamol. Ah, right. So I would just put 30 like this milligrams. What's the schedule, sir? Do you remember from the PRN? Um, as required, as every six hours, required. as required. Every six hours, right? 
Now think about the punctuation, guys. Have I have I used much punctuation here? Can you see any commas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alan, I think there is another information here. Two into two, then six hourly PRN. Ah, yeah, yeah. So how are we going to deal with that? Hmm. So two Panadin Ford, I think. That's dosage, isn't it? So mm, maybe because it's before comma. So maybe two tab uh, Panadin Ford. Yeah. So we need to put this in here. Thirty mm, to five hundred so milligrams. To add somewhere, yeah. It got, it's the dose. What, mm. what can we write, guys? So we can put it in a bracket. Taking... We can put it in a bracket. He's put it in brackets. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Two tablets. That's good, sir. I like that. Yeah. Anything else we could do? We can put it uh, at the beginning, two tabs of Bernadine Ford. Yeah. Put it here, couldn't you? Oh, I like that. Mm. Um, yeah, you could. Okay, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep with this one because it makes it a bit more simple. All right, I want to show you a second way, a way that's actually a bit better than this. All right. So the main, before I do, you guys have to remember the commas. Everyone always messes up the commas. You need that comma there. All right. Let's imagine that it was being taken. Can you take this by a mouth? Yes. Do you ingest? So, what would I write here if, if it was being taken by, by mouth? Orally. 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 Right. Okay. So these commas are very, very important, um, and that's what usually trips people up. Okay. So separate out the method. That's how it's taken from the dose, from the schedule. Okay. Oops, but there's no comma here, right? But there's commas here. Does that make sense? Yeah? Let me show you a second way. Dosage plus drug plus schedule plus method, okay? We're gonna do this with, again, with the same um, case notes. Uh, and we'll just say, we'll do with Voltaren here. So what's the, um, Benita, what's the dosage for Voltaren? Benita? Okay. Say that again a bit louder. 50 milligram. Okay. So we're going to say she is currently taking 50. How do we spell it again? 50 M milligram. You just said it again. <laughs> How do you spell it? M -I -L 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 -I -G -R -A -M -S. Okay. I really like this way, guys. Watch this. 50 milligrams. Now the drug. What's the drug? Volterin. Volterin. Now I need a preposition. Can anyone tell me what preposition I need? Off. Yeah. Off. This is, this is the, mo the most natural way to... This is the way you would say it in a hospital, right? She's currently taking 50 milligrams of, of Volterin. When? When? I don't daily, like daily. daily. I don't daily. like daily. It sounds like case notes. Every once day. a day. Every day or once a day is fine. Yeah, every day. Okay. So she's currently taking 50 milligrams of Voltaren every day. What about um, the method? Let's say it's orally. I know it doesn't say it here, but let's imagine that it's, it's by mouth. What would I say? By mouth, orally, okay. You can say orally or you can say by mouth, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's say orally, okay? And we need a comma here. Okay, so I've, I've given you two ways to do it today, all right? And we're now going to practice. So does anyone have any questions about this? Does this make sense? Oops. Hello, uh, I have questions regarding uh, the um, up um, way of zero, not, not this to one, because you ta uh, you said that she is taking uh, not these two one, she, uh, one? Uh, the above the above one. Uh, I moved uh, them no. around. Yes. Go on. Ask the uh, question. And I'll, yeah. Yes, uh, it says IV, and uh, we are writing that she is taking. So, can we uh, write IV as taking? Ah, because IV is um, in direct injection. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That's a great question. Yes. Um, 
Mm. I think intravenous would be better. How long, how long have you been thinking about that? <laughs> Why didn't you ask me that before? <laughs> because I want to say uh, uh, think, above one. It's, it's yes, great. Yes. It's, it's a good point, right? It, it not, the language is not technically right. So I would say um, she's currently receiving, right? Um, so here you could say receiving. Yes. Um, okay. By IV. Yeah, that's a great point. Okay. But now, guys, what I want you to do is take these two and see if you can do it yourself, but for the, these medications. Okay. You don't have to do all these medications, remember. We're only going to do one medication. You can choose whichever one you want to do, right? If you want to do aspirin, do that one. If you want to do this one, do that one. If you want to do this one, do that. Choose one, but can you write it down or type it into the chat box? All right. You've got an example of how to do it. Right. You can see my commas. You can see how I'm dividing it. I'll give you two minutes. Right. Write down one or two medications in detail with correct punctuation. Ready? Yeah. Okay. yeah. We all. Okay, go for it. Write it down. Two minutes starts now. Some lovely sentences coming through. You still have 30 seconds left, but I can see 13 things in the chat. Um, Nadashani, um, that looks good. Good commas, Nadashani. Sandy, um, good commas. This is great. All the TTM students will be doing these amazing med uh, medication um, sentences in the exams. Um, Mahmoud, so, oh, so Mahmoud, that's brilliant. Uh, Nukba at night, excellent. Um, uh, Eugenia, Eugenia, I haven't asked you many questions. Sorry, um, she is currently taking 10 minutes of every day orally. Eugenia, that's lovely, really, really good. My favorite one, Eugenia, is the one you just used there, okay? And Merlin, there's loads here. This is great, guys, okay? Now, 
really, really good work. Let's just do, um, we'll just do one together and then I'm going to tell you what your homework is going to be. Because really, the only way I can really, there's too many of you here for me to give you tips for all of them. So there's going to be homework for this class, all right? The homework will be, write me loads and loads of medication <laughs> sentences, okay? Mm -hmm. But let's just do this together, all right? Let's choose, um, Kalyan, I've just seen you there, sir. Could you put your microphone on? Yep. And let's have Eugenia uh, as well. Eugenia, just you two, you two. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this so I, so I don't have to spell a weird drug, okay? So Kalyan, just walk me through, yep. how would you say it here? Uh, we'll do this one, actually. She is currently okay. taking she is currently taking a 75 milligrams of uh, aspirin um, once once per day once per day comma do we have and orally okay so it does say orally as well excellent excellent easy good and now eugenia what about this aspirin one? aspirin uh, small letter a Ah, uh, yeah. Is it is it generic? Of course, it's generic. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. And uh, Eugenia, let's do aspirin. But we'll do we'll do it this way. Oh, you want to do Tylenol? Uh, okay. No, that's fine. Go on. <laughs> She's currently taking uh, Tylenol. Okay, Tylenol. Um, I don't know the method. <laughs> so in that case, just don't say anything. Yeah. So we get rid of that. Ah. Uh, 3,360 so again? M-I-L-L-G-R-A-M-S. Is that correct? No. What, 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 she, <laughs> what she missed, guys? <laughs> What's the missing letter, everyone? I. Uh, I after. I L -L -I. Uh, Good. So 360 milligrams. And then what's next? Um, four times per day. Four times per day. Excellent. Right. So, um, as I said, this one I think is the most natural sounding one. So I recommend doing that. Sorry, sir. I think aspirin is a trade name. Ah, good. Um, Wait, is it, are we sure? I, I thought aspirin so. was, a, yeah. was a generic drug. No, no, aspirin generic. Aspirin trade. Well, you know what? Me and Paul talk about this a lot. Like, <laughs> you, you can't be, ex maybe with aspirin, you, we, sh we should know this. I should know this as well, okay? But in the exam, you cannot be expected to know every drug, can you? Yeah, what should we do in that case? In that case? That's a great question. Um, what should we do? What's more likely, the drug, the generic drug, or... Or the brand name. Which one is more brand possible? Brand name. I think brand name. Which one is more likely? Um, are you sure? No. In generic. Gen generic. Uh, I think, I think generic drug is, is slightly more likely. Okay. But um, one thing that's nice about OET is I don't think that they will take a lot of marks away from you if you get this, this aspect wrong. Okay. Because whenever I've when, when I've been at training sessions with Paul, um, Rebecca Bush always says, um, whenever people ask questions like this, she always says, "We don't care." Honestly, she says we're looking at grammar, we're looking at sentence structure, we're looking at organisation of ideas. All right. So she she's it's just the tiniest thing. Okay. It's not very important. Uh, yes. Can I have to uh, ask it in generic uh, trade name? Acetyl salicylic acid. Aspirin. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Aspirin is the generic name. Aspirin is the trade name. It's the trade name because the, 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 the generic drug is, what's that generic drug again? That's a crazy Salicylic acid. Acetyl salicylic acid. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Well, at least we know for this. So aspirin is a brand. Okay. Like for uh, Sorry, can Here. we write a four in the uh, number as a number? Uh, that's a good question. Well, like this, 360. No, for example, uh, 
for uh, Tylenol, 360 milligrams for writer for with. Uh, uh, I think it do, again. It, this doesn't really matter. I would write when it's just one letter, just one. Yeah, show 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 OET that you know how to spell your things. But again, it doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Okay, great. Any other questions about this? I think I'm basically finished now. Okay, this is um, going to be. Oh yeah, go on. Uh, can you write uh, four times a day? Yes, you can definitely okay. write four times a day, five times a day. So it's always a day. I don't know why, but it's weird. But we, so that's what we say: two times, four times, three times, ten times. Yeah. Any more questions? Note: four times a day. Fine. So oh, we cannot write like a BIT or BT. We, we need to um, write long term, long form. Now, this is, a, this is a good point. So it all comes down to the reader. Okay. So technically you can, if you're writing to a medical specialist, write the, the BID if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, um, this is a writing test. So why not show them that you can write these amazing sentences with good punctuation, right? Your language have, score is gonna, yes, Mahmoud? I have, I guess, um, can we mix uh, both ways of writing indications? That's a great question. That's, I haven't thought about it. Um, so you could say she's taking, no, right, I would be consistent with, choose one or the other. Okay, choose one or the other. The other method okay so guys homework for me you can send me this all right uh, we're just going to quickly practice it again but i want you guys to do sorry not this one i want you to do both of these actually all right we'll just do let's just make it simple for homework, write possibility four. Choose one of these, please, and write all the medication out. Okay. Email it to me. Where where can you email your homework to, guys? Does anyone know the TTM email address? Benita, you should know it by now. TTM. TTM English. TTM Mentor. In fact, guys, I'll give you my personal one. And you're free to email me with any questions anyway, anytime. So ttmhealthcare.com. All right. So that means we have to do all of these now. How do you guys feel about doing all of them? Fantastic. Then again, <laughs> yeah. we can send to Skype also. <laughs> Thank you, Al. No, not Skype, because it's very confusing for me who's sending me what, okay? Ah, okay. okay, sir. But if you want, I don't mind if you want to write it on a piece of paper and send me a picture, like with the essays. Let's just, because we've got five minutes, let's just quickly practice it all together, okay? You can do this for your homework. But imagine we had to do this and imagine I'll get someone to help me. Let me get um, uh, Sade. Could you help me with this? Just imagine. Uh, yes. Which, give, me, uh, give me the name of a patient, anything. Uh, Mr. Simit. Okay. So why don't we say this? Um, please be aware of the fact that, okay. Okay. Mr. Smith. Okay, uh, we're going to try and use all of these. What can we say? It's currently taking. Yeah, it's currently taking. Uh, Naproxen, comma, tramadol, comma, gabapentin, comma, and, uh, no, 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 sorry, it's four. It's, it's three. You're doing possibility two. If only we could do that, it would be very easy homework, right? Instead, we have to say, let's do, let's do this one. We start off with the... Dosage, right? Dosage, drug, okay. schedule, method. Ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. The 500. Uh, 
500 of uh, 500 milligrams currently taking 500 milligrams of uh, naproxen does it need capitals guys i don't know oh, i'm not sure <laughs> Yes. What are we yeah, going to yes. do? If, if yes. It does? No. Okay. Yes, capital. Yes, capital. If we're not sure, just don't use it. Okay. What What's next? Uh, two uh, times a day. Two orally. Times Kama orally. A day orally. Okay. Yes. Should I put a full stop here or should I keep going? I don't know. Anyone? What should I, what should I do? Comma. You have a choice. You can put full stop if you want, or you can put a comma and just start again. Right? Mm -hmm. So 50. Let me get someone else now. Um, someone I haven't spoken too much. Eugenia. Eugenia. Sorry. <laughs> I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. No problem. Eugenia, how do I say your name? Eugenia. Eugenia. <laughs> Eugenia. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to go with tramadol, right? So tr um, give me the dosage yeah. first. 50 milligrams of tramadol. How do we spell milligrams, guys? Uh, I. M I. Everyone? G. G R A M S. -S, -S. Of? Tramadol. Tramadol. How often? What does this mean, B-I-D? Two times a day. Two times a day. Uh, as required as needed just put it in the same sentence okay and then what, what's last as or needed or as need needed sorry or as required is also okay. correct comma Already. right and you can just keep going for me though it would be a bit crazy to keep going I would stop here and I would do full stop okay and I would say she is also Currently taking, let's get someone else to help me with this. Um, Nil, Nil and Nukba. Could you put your microphones on? She's also currently taking 300 and your milligrams, gabapen. milligrams of g Gabapen. What's Gabapen? Pent gabapentin. Gabapentin. A little painkiller for neuropathic pain. Ah, right, okay. Um, or am I going to say before bed, comma, orally? Ah, well, that's the other style. We're going to keep the same style, right? Hmm. It's at the before end. Bed. Before bed. Comma. Orally. Yeah. Um, have I missed anything? No, that's good. And once. Who wants to finish that? Tetanus prophylaxis. This is nice, isn't it? Because there's no, uh, there's no uh, dosage or anything like that. Prophylaxis. What's tetanus prophylaxis? I have, a, I have an idea, but what is that? Vaccine. Avoid Just a vaccine no for, for te tetanus. Yeah. Okay, I've broken the rule. Okay, last thing, guys, and then we'll, we'll finish the class. This is very, very good, but I have actually made a mistake, right? Because I've broken what's called the rule of three. The so third... what about gabapentin? It's about uh, daily, daily before oh, sorry. bed. Sorry, and I've done that as well. Yeah, daily before bed. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't like daily. What are we going to say? Once a day. Once a day before bed. It just sounds so much better. Okay. It sounds real. Um, guys, in this one, I've made a mistake. I just have to quickly tell you and then we'll finish. Okay? In, in of and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and good man, good man, right? Because it's the rule of three, right? If you have two things, that's just two. So you say, and right, one and two, right? But the rule of three is only the last one has and. Okay, so if, if I do two things, I have to put a conjunction here. Okay, okay. dead important. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for attending. I hope it was useful. You can have the study document.